The Zika virus has been linked to microcephaly, a brain abnormality in infants. The condition is not new and can also be caused by genetic and environmental factors. Its symptoms and severity can vary greatly. CCTV's Paulo Cabral traveled to a Brazilian city to meet one family with two daughters born with microcephaly. Nosso dia começa agitado. Cinco horas da manhã a gente já começa a levantar. Our day begins very early. We wake up at five in the morning. My daughters need to take their time. They are not like us that wake up and put on some clothes and are ready to go. For example, if they're tying their shoelaces and they get it wrong, they'll undo them and redo them until they get it right. And that can be four or five times. And we need to respect it because it's like a ritual. People with intellectual disabilities have their ritual and they need to be respected or their day doesn't work. Sisters Patricia and Adriana were born six years apart with microcephaly caused by a genetic predisposition in their parents. Patricia is now 20 years old, but her intellectual age is closer to 12 or 13. And Adriana is 14, but her mental age seems to be around 7 or 8. So that's how their development has been affected. But apart from this, they behave like their usual teenagers, with their dreams, their idols, their bad moods. Como qualquer adolescente acorda de mau humor. Minha vida é boa, porque... I have a good life. Microcephaly is not such a huge monster. It's not death. It can be good. What I dream is for people to treat me like an equal. Besides attending a special needs institution, the sisters also go to a regular school where a dedicated teacher helps them to keep up with the class. A Adriana e a sua irmã Patrícia, elas realizam várias atividades normais como as outras crianças, né? Adriana and her sister Patricia do many of the things that the other students do. They travel, practice sports, have plans for the future, date. So their lives within some limits are normal. É uma vida normal. Correr é quando eu assisti um filme de Flash. I decided to take up running after I saw the movie The Flash. I want to train a lot and be as fast as he is. The girls are dedicated para-athletes. They train with a coach after school and are proud of their medals won in regional and national events. I got this medal in a basketball competition. The worst thing actually is having to deal with people's prejudices, with the way people look at us. And it's also a battle against our own prejudice. The first rejection that special needs children feel is from their own mothers. All mothers, when they hear about this, they get desperate and ask, why them? If you are expecting a baby, you have to love him or her. If the baby is born with a disability, you can't just take the love away. Love your children whichever way they come, because it's a love so immense it can't even be understood. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Campo Grande, Brazil.